hi guys this is week number 14 for my weigh-in and I am super excited with my results because I weighed in this morning and I lost 2.6 pounds so I am officially in the 70s I am 178.2 and I honestly cannot remember the last time I was in the 70s so I am just beyond excited about that and I think there's a couple of reasons why I had such a great number. So first one, I did that Aqua Zumba class on Tuesday and it was a lot of fun. Um, I learned a couple things from it though. The workout that I did, it was the very first class of the, uh, of the course and it's an 11 week course and I don't feel like I got that good of a workout, like I wasn't out of breath at all. Um, I don't know, I just feel like I didn't get my heart rate up very high, but I could feel like my legs and my arms, like with the resistance in the water, I could feel like I was getting a little sore, but I was never out of breath. So I don't know if that is just because of the water kept me cooled down and stuff, um, but I really enjoyed it. I went on a wild goose chase to find the place because it took me an hour to get there. It's like an hour away from my ha house when I'm stuck in traffic. So that wasn't fun, but it's only once a week. So the other thing that I think really helped me is I drank tons of water. When I got tired of just regular water, I would have some tea or, and I drank a cup of tea every night before I went to bed, that sleepy time tea that I showed you guys. Uh, I think that was last week's grocery haul. So I drank tons of water. Um, Another thing is, what I was doing is I would always have a turkey sandwich, a four point turkey sandwich, and then two points of, or one cup serving of Progresso soup. And then I'd have like carrots and with some ranch or something, and my lunches were always like seven to eight points. Well, this um, week I discovered something, and I mean, everybody has this in their cupboard, but so instead of Progresso soup or any kind of soup. I've been having chicken broth and this is zero points for one tablespoon. So what I do um, and you can put like vegetables in it. You can still make it a zero point soup with only vegetables in it but I just enjoyed eating or drinking just the broth. Um, so what I would do is when I take my lunch at clinicals I'd eat my um, I would eat my carrots and my grapes or my apple first. I'd eat my sandwich last. And then as I'm leaving um, and I'm finished with my lunch, I would heat up, um, I would just put a tablespoon of this with some water in a mason jar and shake it and just leave it in my lunchbox. And so then when I go back from my lunch, I'd pop it in the microwave and I would bring it with me. So that way, like, for a whole hour I'm sipping on it kind of like it's coffee or tea but it's very very filling and so and that's zero points so I was only I've only been eating like four or five point lunches um, and I stay full longer when I bring this with me after my lunch so you guys should try it um, I haven't tried the beef one or anything but I really like the chicken um, so I think that's really been helping and plus it's just, I, there's a lot of sodium in it, but um, it's just water. So I'm drinking a lot of water that way. I have a cup of tea every morning. I have a cup of coffee, which I've, for every cup of coffee you drink, you're supposed to drink two cups of water. And I try to drink two 16 ounce water bottles by noon, so by lunchtime. So, um, yeah, I just think I had a really good loss because I drank a lot of water. I worked out only once. The only workout I did was that Aqua Zumba class, but I did burn five Weight Watcher activity points doing the hour Aqua Zumba class. Um, I didn't track it in my phone as Zumba and there was no Aqua Zumba choice. I chose a um, water aerobics and that was five points. So that's what I chose for that. Um, so I also want to show you, I'm going to pause this real quick so I'm going to grab something. I apologize, just to say. So I also want to show you another kind of trick or thing I've been doing to help me. Um, I've been doing this since I started Weight Watchers, but um, 
I've been doing it more this week. So I have a really hard time swallowing pills to take vitamins and such. So I have been taking gummy vitamins for months and I was taking them first thing in the morning when I eat my yogurt and a banana or something for breakfast, but I wasn't always like wanting them. And so I take vitamin D, the power C, that's the immune one. And then I got calcium. I got fish oil. Yes, they make fish oil gummies and they don't taste bad at all. And then I have a multivitamin. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's ten gummies that I take every day. And instead of taking them in the morning, I pack them in a Ziploc bag with me and I pack them in my lunch and take them with me. So if I get like a candy craving or I need something sweet, that's when I'll eat these. Um, I haven't scanned them to see how many points they are. I'm not going to count them as any points at all, um, which they probably are points, but they're my vitamins, so I'm not going to count them. Um, so yeah, I bring these with me in my lunch. So if I get like a candy craving at like right after my lunch or later on in the afternoon before I get home, I can just pull that out and eat my gummies and they're my vitamins, so it's good too. Or if I don't have a craving when I'm at clinicals or anything or at school, then I'll just bring them home and I will take them before I go to bed or for like a dessert kind of. So that's another kind of trick I've been doing. So I've been not eating those first thing when I wake up in the morning. I wait until I kind of get like a sweet tooth or some sort of sweet craving. And it does satisfy it, it really does. Um, so I'm gonna move on to my meal planning. This week is gonna be very hectic and crazy. So tomorrow's Monday and um, I don't have anything going on. I'm off that day for school and I don't have to work. So, but it's my um, husband's grandma's birthday. So I made this meal plan before finding out that we we're gonna go out to dinner with them tomorrow because we just came back from them. We had dinner with them tonight, which is Sunday. So I was going to make a um, sweet and sour chicken and that is a recipe of the hung from the Hungry Girl cookbook to the max. Um, and I was gonna make a video and show you guys that. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna do it or not, but I will, I'll try to make it sometime this week. And then Tuesday, I have that Aqua Zumba class from six to seven, and like I said, uh, it didn't, I didn't leave there last time after I changed and stuff and showered. I didn't leave there until 7.30, so I didn't get home till about 8.15. So, um, I'm just gonna put in the crock pot. I'm gonna make, um, it's chicken with canned tomatoes. It's kind of like the chicken that I made in the crock pot with the hot sauce, but it's seriously all it is is chicken breast or you can use chicken legs, chicken thighs, whatever you want. And then you pour two cans of diced Italian stewed tomatoes. And you pour it on top and that's it. You put the lid on, I put it on low for like eight or nine hours because that's usually how long I'm gone. Actually closer to nine to 10. So um, Chris will be able to eat that when he gets home and then I can eat it and it's just a protein so that's good. Um, so I'll have that when I get home on Tuesday from Aqua Zumba. Then Wednesday, I have Wednesday off from class I think. I'm not sure. I'm on night rotations this week so usually if you're on night rotations you have Fridays off instead of Wednesdays but I'm not sure because I'm in a special modality right now. So Wednesday, I was going to make those uh, stuffed pork chops that I got um, with maybe some steamed broccoli or I have like the cauliflower and cheese that's down in the freezer. I have green beans. I have tons of frozen veggies that I can use. And Thursday, I'm on night rotations. Thursday and most likely Friday. So Thursday, I was just going to do leftovers. Um, we'll have probably a lot of that canned chicken and tomatoes, or not canned chicken, I'm sorry, I'm really tired. Um, the crock pot chicken and canned tomatoes, we'll probably have leftovers of that. We might have leftover pork chops, you never know, those things were really big. Um, so Thursday is going to be leftover. Friday, I'm going to make a pot roast, and I'm going to take it out of the freezer a couple days before, and I'm just going to stick it in the crock pot with, uh, I got carrots, I have celery and onion. Um, I'm not going to put potatoes in it, um, so I'm going to put that in the crock pot so Chris can have that when he gets home 
and I get out of clinicals at 9 on Friday, so um, I'll probably eat my dinner there. And then Saturday, I'm working showers, so I, it's a short shift, it's only 4 to 8, and I'm just going to put leftovers because we're going to have that huge pot roast left over and stuff. And Chris is probably going to end up going to his dad's house to spend time with him and probably eat dinner over there. So that is the plan for this week. I don't know if we're going to stick to it or not, just because when I'm on night rotations, it's crazy. Um, because I have my night rotations, and then I have homework on top of that. So once I get home at 9, I have my homework to do, and it's just a very, very busy time. But luckily, it's only a week long. Um, so if you saw my grocery haul, I didn't spend a whole lot of money. I think I spent like just under $9 at grocery outlet, and then I spent... $31 at, uh, where'd I go, Winco. So I didn't need a whole lot. I didn't buy any meat or anything except for some salami that Chris wanted for sandwiches and stuff. Um, and I really like not going to Costco. It sounds bad and I love Costco, don't get me wrong, but when we do go there we spend a lot more money. We spend at least $50. Uh, we can't really get out of there without spending at least 40 to 50 dollars so we are only going to Costco when we absolutely have to we still have our membership but we're only gonna go there if we need like Keurig uh, the K cups or all my vitamins I get them from Costco because they're a really good deal or if we need anything else my father-in-law we go to Costco for him for things because he doesn't have a membership so if he needs something then we'll make a trip out there and it's right next door to grocery outlet but I used to go to Costco first and then I'd go to Winco and now I've been going to Grocery Outlet and seeing what kind of produce they have and what kind of snacks and things for Weight Watchers that I can eat and then I go to Winco and I really like doing that because I can always find, especially during the summertime you guys, if you have a Grocery Outlet, go there because all their berries, their raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, they are all really cheap during the summertime and they have watermelons always on good deal or a good sales. So. I've been going there and I really enjoy it because they always have something different. It's kind of like Dollar Tree, how you'll go there and find something and you really, really like it and then you go there the next time and they don't have it, but they have something different that you find. So I'm going to continue doing that. Um, and that is our weekly meal plan. I was thinking, and let me know what you guys think, I was thinking of doing like a food journal and showing you what I eat every day for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks and everything. For the most part, it's the same thing, except for dinner. I usually stick to the same breakfast and I stick to the same lunch. I might mix it up here and there, like I might have tomatoes instead of cucumbers or something or carrots. So let me know what you guys think if you would like to see those kinds of videos. Um, so yes, overall it was a very good week and just make sure you drink lots of water Try the chicken broth or the chicken stock, you guys. And if you try the beef one, let me know how you like it and how it works. Oops. And how it works. And let me know if you guys are staying full like I am. Um, so have a good night, you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.